Hey everyone, myself Umar Taskeer and you are watching WSQ Tech YouTube channel. Guys, in this video, I am going to talk about some tips and tricks about writing title tags. So, uh, let me tell you uh, about title tags. Title tags are not only uh, written for the crawlers. Many many of us believe that we, we do write title tags just for the crawlers. It's not like that. We also write title tags for the users. See, when uh, someone comes on Google and he or she types their queries, a search engine result pages comes there and in search engine result pages you have different results which came after this query right so you have a title over here you have description over here for the result number one the same thing over here also you have title and description for the result number two and so on so there are number of n number of uh, results and there are n number of title and description also but you have already written your title tag Keeping in mind that only crawler will understand that, right? So, you have written this uh, title tag for the crawlers only. By writing this title tag for the crawlers only, if you are able to rank, if you are able to rank over here in this search engine result pages on this particular query, there is no guarantee that user is going to click on your content or your title or description or your website link. There is no guarantee. Just because you have written this title tag for the crawler, that actually helped you to rank in the search engine result pages, but there's no guarantee that user is going to click on that. Now, how can you make user to click on this particular link? Because before coming on your actual content, before coming on your website, what users see? What users are going to see this title and description only. So, your title and description should make an impact in the user's mind and they should click on this particular link. So that they can come to your content. So if you are writing your title tag only for the crawlers, only for the Google crawlers, only for the Google algorithm, that is not the right thing. You have to make a perfect balance between the crawlers also and the users also. You cannot ignore any one of them because if you are ignoring crawler, you won't be able to rank. And if you are ignoring users, you won't be able to get clicks, right? So there will be no traffic if you are ignoring users. And there will be no rank if you are using crawler. So that is why I say that writing title tags is very important because you have to find that optimum balance between crawlers and users. So I have some tips that can help you in writing a perfect title tag. The first thing is numbers. You can write numbers in your title tag that basically brings some psychological impact on the user. I have two examples over here. The first one is top 10 blog ideas for digital marketers. You see a number is over here. And then I have another one, how you can save 50% of your monthly salary. So these two titles are having numbers within them. So if you if you follow this thing that you can you can put some numbers in your title, that, that is a definitely a very great thing. Then I have another psychological uh, aspect, which is dates. See, nobody actually loves accessing the older content, right? So you have to put some updated dates in your title tag just for the user so when user sees your title he or she can definitely understand oh okay this is an updated content then we should click on this otherwise see if you are in 2019 and uh, there's there there's no uh, date over here or there is a date like 2017 do you expect any user to uh, click on this particular link on this title it's not feasible right so if you see you have top seo tools this is one option and then you have another option which is top SEO tools in in October 2019 or we can remove this October in 2019. What, what, what do you think? User is going to click on this top SEO tools or this top SEO tools in 2019. So definitely the user will be clicking on this particular title just because of this date element. It's a psychological element which actually tells user that okay this one is the updated and latest content you should go for this one right so this is the second this is a second tip about writing title and uh, title tags and then when we talk about the third tip is which is uh, something very basics about the seo you should write your title somewhere around 50 to 60 characters and if we convert this into pixel it can be like uh, 600 pixels then you can use synonyms and variants whenever you go for writing titles you decide your keyword now you can you can also figure out different variants or synonyms of your keywords and those synonyms and variants of your keywords you can you can put them all together with your main keyword right so you you see over here fast affordable caps this one is fast affordable caps and if you believe that and if you believe that this one is our primary keyword right 
then quick taxi and your cheap ride are the close variants of this uh, primary keyword right so you can use these close variants along with this your primary keyword in the title tag so now let's uh, see some other tips and the other tips is call to action you can include call to action that will definitely encourage users to uh, click on the titles right so you can use different action level words like buy, find, download, search, listen, watch, learn and access. These are different call to action words. There are many you can use any of them depending on what kind of title you are going to create. Then you have top referring keywords also. You cannot ignore uh, the importance of top referring keywords. Let me tell you what are top referring keywords. Suppose if you are uh, doing the search engine optimization or writing your content and title and description for, for a particular set of keywords. But when you go to your Google Analytics, when you go to your analytics, what you observe is along with those uh, keywords which I was I was uh, looking to rank for, there are some other keywords also on which our website is performing or on which the traffic is coming. So you cannot ignore that potential also. Those keywords on which you are actually not working but you are getting the traffic from, those keywords are top referring keywords and you can leverage the power of those top referring keywords also you can start making the strategies for those top referring keywords also and that will be a very great thing because now you have two ways to pull the traffic to your website right then we have a seventh thing which is related to the format of the uh, title you can use questions as a title format right so these are the very basic tips that can help you in writing a great title which will be crawler friendly as well as user friendly so that's it for today's video see you in the next video till then a very good bye